Hey y'all, I'm Betsy from Happily Ever After Etc. and welcome back to another Cricut Craft. So today I'm going to be showing you how to use the Cricut card mat that has spots for four cards to make any kind of insert card with your Cricut, whether it's your Maker or your Explore Air 2 or your Maker 3, regardless, this mat works with all of those machines. The only machine it does not work with is your Joy, and of course the Joy has its own exclusive card mat that makes one single card at a time. So you can make an insert card with any of your machines, just depends on which mat you need to use. Today I'm going to be focusing on birthday cards because I wanted to show you how to put four different designs on one mat so you can make cards for multiple people, multiple occasions at the same time. So we are going to get started. I made eight cards in two different sizes. That is the only um, exclusion for your card mat is you have to put four cards of the same size and type on a card mat in order to make different designs. So I couldn't make, say, two of the larger size and two of the smaller size on the card, same card mat, but I can make four different designs of the larger card or of the smaller card. So we're gonna get started and show you exactly how it works. It's actually very easy and I can't wait to see what kind of cards you make. Let's go. Okay, we are going to start in Cricut Design Space by going over to the project library. And I've already gone through and saved an entire array of birthday card designs that I liked. But if you're looking for the first time, you can go down to this card section and scroll through. There are literally hundreds and hundreds of designs. You can even type in things like birthday and search specific birthday cards for the one that's perfect for your best friend or your mom, it doesn't matter. And right here in the drop down, it even shows you which sizes that card's available in. For today, we're going to stick to the ones that I've already picked because it's a vast library. So I'm going to pick a card and then I'm going to pick the size that I'm looking for. In this case, I am going to make four cards that have a pin and cut out design. And I'm going to make four designs that are simple cutout designs in two different sizes. That way we can put all of our four larger cards on one mat with the pin design and our four smaller cutout cards on another mat. So I've already grabbed my four pin cards and now I'm going to go in. I want the R10, which is the smaller size. R30 is the larger and I'm going to go ahead and all I'm doing is opening each canvas, each project, I am pasting the uh, cards I've already gone and picked up and now I'm going to copy the entire canvas. Then I'm going to go back to my library. I'm going to pick the next card design. I'm going to open it in the appropriate size. Again, I'm using R10 for the smaller ones. I am going to paste my card designs from my previous project. I move over the last one copy the entire canvas back to the library. So I'm going to do this for each design that I want to make. In this case, four small, four big is a total of eight times. Like I said, I went ahead and I did the big ones off camera, but I'm doing all of the small ones here so you can see exactly how I do it. Just move it over. You don't have to move it over, but it makes it a lot easier just to visually see the difference. Copy everything back to the library. We need one more design, our final one. So we're going to go click on that last one. Make sure it's R10. Replace the canvas. Paste everything. Move all of those top three over. Now I have three, four top and four bottom. Now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click new and I'm going to start over with a brand new canvas that I can rename birthday cards. Okay, so when I go out, zoom out using that magnifier, you can see I have four large, four small. I'm going to go ahead and resave this right now as birthday cards. That just helps me remember when I want to make these cards again, exactly where I have them saved. And I'm going to put the sizes that I've copied them as, R10 and R30. Perfect. So now if I were to go ahead and make these right now, 
it would put all eight of them on separate cutting mats. So you can see, I'm trying to, trying to make all of the cuts the same color and all of them appear to be cream colors, but they're not. So see if I go ahead and hit make it, I tell it I want the card mat. It is going to put each design on a separate mat right now because all of those cream colors are slightly different. They are not the same. That's not helpful to us. We want all of our designs on one mat. <laughs> so I'm simply going to select each of the basic cut layers for the big card. I'm going to make them pink. I'm going to pick each of the small basic cut layers for the small cards, and I'm going to make them purple. The color is irrelevant. You can use whatever you want because these are basic cut layers and it's just telling your Cricut to cut. The, the color is just to classify it on your cutting mat. It's going to source your cutting mats by color. So it'll put all of your purple cuts on one mat, all of your pink cuts on a second mat. The last thing to do is double check that none of these are foil cards. The one with the birthday cake was. So instead of foil, I reclassified those line types as a pin, which you can do up in the top, top toolbar right beside the color wheel we just used. Perfect. So now all I'm going to do is just realign these top ones to a top align because I'm a little OCD sometimes and that was driving me nuts. <laughs> Perfect. Now make sure you have your correct machine. We're using our Cricut Maker 3. Nope, we're using our Maker, sorry, I, I forgot. And we're going to put it on our card mat and hit continue and now the magic happens. It is going to classify these as one type and the smaller cards as another and this is just a glitch, there you go. It. it was just being funny. <laughs> All right. So now everything is set on the card mat, ready to roll. And we are going to pop over to real time. And I am going to show you our full supply list. When you browse your materials, you're just going to select them that are non insert cards. Perfect. Ready for those supplies. All right, y'all, so we're going to get started. We have the small and medium and small and medium in a couple different varieties. So the newer packs have the card sizes right on the front, but these are the older packs. I got them on clearance. So they do tell you the size of the cards, but you'll have to look at a chart. I will try to put one on the screen to know the exact size that Cricut calls them. So these smaller ones are the R10s and the bigger ones are the R30s. There's also a square size, I believe. All of them will work with the card mat. All of them will work with your machine. You just have to make sure to pick the right size design for your specific cards. So these are the ones we have and we are going to get started by picking four and four. So we're gonna do four of the smaller R10s and four of the bigger R30s. So when you open these, let's see, they're, yeah, they're, they're taped shut. So give me two seconds. Y'all don't need to see that. Okay, so now they're open. When you open these, you're going to have couple different things. So you're going to have your envelopes at the back. Do, 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 do. Envelopes. And then you are going to have your actual cards and these can, let's say this side, these open, okay, cards. And you're going to have your insert cards. So these are just plain pieces of cardstock or foil paper sometimes, depends on the pack, but these coordinate with these. So if you look at the colors here, specifically up at the top, we will cut out of our card and then we will put our insert 
into these tabs and that will fill in the space. So essentially they've given you this gold coordinates with the blue, the pink coordinates with the pink and this khaki coordinates with the powder blue. Although all three really coordinate with all three. You buy them in packs for a reason. So you could put any of them together. We are going to start by adding our four favorite cards to the card mat. So let's think about this. I know I want this light pink one for the card design I've picked up here. So this is how you, I feel like my brain is a hot mess right now. This is how you actually add the card to your card mat. You're going to take it and this little like uh, strip here comes up and you're going to slip your card behind it. You're going to push it all the way over and all the way to the top. And you can see that this size coordinates with this line. And so now we can cut through this top layer and it will not cut through the back layer. Perfect. All right, let's keep going, picking our colors. In these two packs, we have a light pink, a dark pink, and a pale blue for our colors for the cards. And in the second pack, we have a kind of purpley pink. We have a seafoam green. We have another blue that is actually the same color and we have another pink pale pink so you no know, i think i'm gonna do this color for the bottom i'm going to do the sea foam for this bottom I'm going to do the blue up here. Perfect. So we've got two and two. And now when we cut our cards, they'll be coordinated. Let's go ahead and I'm going to do the larger cards now. These are exactly the same as the small cards. They're just a bigger size, okay? So I'm not gonna make you watch the whole part of this. Just gonna show you that when we take these out, maybe, come on, they're in a kind of sleeve. We literally have our envelopes <clears throat> and we're going to have the exact same thing. Our insert cards, and our actual cards. Perfect, ready? All right, so we've got our four, our 30 cards, dun, 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 dun. and our four smaller, our 10 cards. So we're going to go ahead now, and we're going to get started with actually making these babies. So the way I set up the mats, of course I've got my four that are cut and pin together and I've got four that are just cut. You can also do um, foiled cards, but that is a whole different step. We're doing easy basic birthday cards today, baby. All right, let's fire this baby up. Start cooking with gas. All right, so to get started, we are going to take our card mat and we are going to slide it 
under the guides. And then we're going to take all four of our star wheels. And we're going to move them into the center section so that they don't run over our cards and crease them. Perfect. I want them kind of on this little runway. Now we're going to load our pen. So you just put this right in clamp A and you'll push down until it clicks and that arrow disappears. All right. Now I'm going to scoop my maker forward because I want to make sure the card mat has enough room to clear in the front and back of the machine. See if that's enough. Make sure you select insert card cardstock and you are good to go. a minute since I've used the card map and while I could edit this out I'm not going to because everyone makes mistakes and I completely forgot that you are supposed to remove this and stick your cards down so they don't move let me fix it All right, so we are all done cutting and drawing and making our cars. So we're gonna go ahead and put our machine away. And now we have four cards on this mat that we cut out and four that we, ooh, what is that? Drew and cut on the other ones. So with the sticky sticky, we do need to get these up. I like to use just a spatula and you're just gonna get under the card stock and you're gonna loosen it from that sticky without curling the card as much as possible. So once we get into the cuts, you wanna be especially careful. And I'm really, I'm just pushing down with the spatula right here on the actual card mat instead of pushing forward because I don't wanna catch any of these little cuts and ruin my card at this point. So I'm putting it as close you can see right there, as close to the card as I can. And then I'm just pushing down, pulling up, moving a smidge at a time, being very careful. And if it starts to not like that, you can also put your spatula under and then pull up a little bit. I'm gonna have a little bit of a problem, I think, right in here, cause that S on the wish. So anything that's backwards and needs a little extra help, I just got my weeding tool and kinda got underneath it and pulled it free. Now, same problem on the other side, but we'll get there when we get there. Just keep on going, get right in there. Once we get this part free, we can get our weeding tool in. Come on, there we go. After waiting and making your whole card, you really don't want it to tear. So just be careful. Go a little at a time. 
all you can do. get in here and be a little careful with some of these loops in the M and in the W. There we go. Made it. Of course, we'll clean the mat off. Once we get our card free. All right, so now we can come back here. Maybe this didn't cut all the way through. Uh, it just was being funny. All right. Again, we're just carefully removing that section that we would weed if this was vinyl. The a negative area, if you will. There we go. Oh. So you can see there are still quite a few little pieces that I need to weed out, but for the most part, a lot of that cardstock weeds out kind of on its own. So now I'll use my fingers to get anything that I can, just being careful not to rip anything. I don't know about y'all, but I don't want to wait. I mean, it cuts fast, but I don't want to wait any amount of time and then cut something, tear something, mess something up and have to redo it and waste a card. So just slow and steady wins the race. The last piece. So now we can take our insert, see which one we want. I think we're going to do the we have dark bronze, which goes with everything in the one pack. And then we have the pink, khaki, and gold from the other packs. So I think we're going to go with the dark bronze. And we're just going to insert this into these cutouts. It'd be easier if I looked at what I was doing. There we go. It's flat. And there we are. Our first card is finished. So now we are literally going to do the exact same thing with all the other cards. We're going to take them off the mats and put insert cards in them. So let me pop them off the mat because that's going to take a second. And then I'll come back to do insert cards with all of y'all. All right. So I went ahead. I put all the insert cards in because I figured... You saw me do the first one, so you already knew exactly how it worked. Of course, they're all just open and insert the four corners. You can see that they're all slightly different corners. Some of them are this standard kind of half triangle, and some of them have a more scalloped detail, but it's all the same concept. You're going to put your your card right in the, the four corners, just like you would a card in a, a wallet or something, a gift card. So they turned out so cute, you guys. And while it seemed like a long time waiting for them to draw and cut, because some of these have a lot of details, in all, I made eight cards 
in under an hour. I'd have to go back and watch the footage to know the exact time, but under an hour. And all literally all I had to do was sit here and and switch the pin in and out and the um, fine tip. Now, if I had set all of the pin strokes to the exact same pin, so like the one point pin, say the point four or the one, if I had just picked one, then I really could have just set it and left it and they would have gone. But I didn't, so I had to keep switching them out as they went from card to card. And in all honesty, for something like this, this was the point four pin. This is the one. So the, the pin size, it that's not making a huge difference in this kind of an application. I could have easily set them all to the 1.0 pin and been fine. All right, that's it. Eight birthday cards in under an hour. No design from me. This is all free. Well, free with you. Cricut Access subscription. But these are all Cricut Access cards. I just went and grabbed them. I'm really excited to give my best friend this one. Because <laughs> she's a huge tea person. It's like her thing. We literally had her bridal shower at a tea, like tea party kind of place. We had like a fancy schmancy English tea party for her bridal shower. Of course you can pick different inserts for each one. I ended up liking the gold with this blue a lot. Gold and navy is just so pretty. And this bronze that came in the one pack So this pack gave me four colored cards with all bronze inserts. So all of these coordinated with the bronze. So I did use the bronze quite a bit um, because half of the pack was meant to go with that bronze. And then I did the gold and the pink. The only one that I ended up not using was the khaki or taupe. And that's because it just wasn't as a dramatic of a reveal. It was a lot more subtle. And while it was pretty in person, it didn't pick up well on camera. And I wanted y'all to be able to see all the cutouts. So in person, I, I would probably pair it with the seafoam. Um, or even the blue would be pretty. But on camera, I thought we'd go for the darker bronze color. So you could really see that pop. Either way, I'm going to go. I have a lot of cards to write. And then I have, a, I have a birthday party this afternoon. So first one. Going out the door. See y'all later. Bye.